Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the soprano recorder. Uh, this is in a Baroque fingering, so German fingering recorder is different. This is a Baroque fingering soprano recorder tutorial. So what we're going to be doing is all the music for soprano recorder is written on the treble clef. First note we're going to start with is the note B. Every good boy does fine. These notes are on the line. So we're going to B, every good boy. The note is on the line. That means the head of the note, the part that's a circle, is literally on the line. It's sitting on the line. This part here, called the stem, can be either up or down. So this is the note B, every good boy. We're going to play that by using our left hand. That's the hand on this side of the room. You're going to use your left hand. It's going to go on the very back of the recorder, your left hand thumb. You're going to be using the padded part of your thumb, squishy part, pad of your thumb, not the tip of your thumb, but the pad. And you can put it over that last, or that, that back hole. There's only one hole back there. Your pointer finger of your left hand is going to go on the hole opposite. Once again, using the pad of our finger, not the tip of our finger. We're going to use slow, warm air. Uh, I like to use uh, the imagery of fogging up a window. Like uh, in wintertime, I know when I was a kid, I'd fog up windows and draw pictures on them. So that's the kind of air we use, so slow, warm air. Not fast, cool air. Not the same air you use to blow, off, blow out uh, like birthday candles, okay? So uh, slow, warm air, and we're going to put the letter T at the beginning and at the end of the notes. So I'm going to play the note B using my left hand on top. If you want, you can take your right hand, just give it something to do, and just hold it right here at the very bottom. Make sure that you're not covering up any holes there. So right hand on the bottom, left hand on the top. I'm going to play some rhythms on a B. I want you to echo. Okay? So there are four beat rhythms. So da 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 da, then you'll echo da 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 da, something like that. So here it goes. Slow warm air, and use a T at the beginning and end of each note. Okay, good. So it's really important that you use that slow warm air. If your instrument sounded something like and it sounded really out of tune or really harsh sounding it's because you're using too much air. The recorder requires very little amount of air to make it sound nice. Okay? Uh, let's try another rhythm. Two. Here I go. Good. Here's another one. Two. Here we go. Fantastic. All right. Let's move on to another note. We're going to come lower on the staff. We're going to move into a space note here. This note is the note A. Okay, so we're going lower in the alphabet, like going backwards in the alphabet because we're coming down. This note's a space. That means the head of the note or the circle part is in between the lines. It's not sitting on the line like the B, it's in between the lines. Okay? Um, when we go lower on the instrument, the lower you go on the, on the recorder, soprano recorder or any recorder, the slower your air has to go. The lower you go, the slower you go. So you have to slow your air down. When we played the B, the, uh, the note, way that's working is as we're blowing the air in, the air is escaping right here. So it's, essentially we're playing like through a tube that's this long. So to make the note lower, we're going to add a finger. We're going to keep the thumb, we're going to keep the pointer, we're adding a finger, and it's going to increase the length of the, uh, the tube to make the note go lower. So we're keeping left hand thumb, left hand pointer, left hand middle finger. Right hand, if you just want to give it something to do, you can help stabilize the instrument just by holding it right here at the very foot of the instrument. Make sure you don't cover up any of these holes. So this note is the note A, second line of the staff. 
F A C E. We know it spells the word face in the space. So this is an A note. Here it is. Echo me. Two. Here I go. Okay, good. If you're getting something squeaky like this, then you're probably blowing the air too fast. So slow your air down, number one. A second cause for that could be because uh, maybe you're not using the pads of your finger and you're not getting those holes sealed off completely. You have to use those pads of your finger. I like to use the analogy of if you lost a stopper to your bathtub and you had a rock and you had a piece of clay, which would work better to stop the bathtub? The rock or the piece of clay? A piece of clay would definitely work better. You could shove that clay down in the hole and it would seal it off much better than that rock. Our fingers are the same way. The squishy part, the pad, is more like clay, whereas the fingertip is more like a rock. The bone is very close to the skin. So use those finger the, the pads of your fingers to, uh, to cover those holes. So back to this A, you got left hand thumb, pointer, and middle finger. Slow warm air, remember that? Check to see if, make sure you got those holes completely covered up and keep those squeaks out. Two, here I go. Okay, here's another one. Two, here I go. Fantastic. So now we got B and A. Let's go ahead and move on. We're going to go one note lower. We're going to a line note here. This gives us the note G. Every good boy does fine. That's the note G. There we go. B, A, and G. We're going to keep what we had for the A. We're keeping the thumb, the pointer, the middle finger, and we're going to add the ring finger of our left hand. Now, as I mentioned before, it's super important that you're using left hand here because when we get to the bottom part, you have to use the right hand. You'll notice that all the holes on the recorder are in a line until you get to the very bottom hole. And it's because it's made for your right hand pinky, which your right hand is on that side of the room, right? So you have to use your left hand, which is on this side of the room, to, to go on the top of that instrument. So we're on the note G. Sorry, G. Thumb, left hand pointer, left hand middle, left hand ring finger. Echo me. Two, here I go. Okay, remember if you're getting squeaks, there's typically two reasons. Number one, most common, is you're using fast, cool air, or you're just not using air that's quite slow enough. So slow that air down, slow, warm air. Make your mouth nice and tall, almost like if you were yawning or something like that. Okay? Nice, tall mouth, <sighs> slow, warm air, very slow. Uh, second reason is because you're not sealing off those holes quite all the way. So here's G again, two. I go first. One, I'll do one more. Ready, here it goes. Alright, fantastic. Now you have notes B, A, and G under your fingers. Excellent. 